Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of My Deity. And uh, here's something you don't see on my channel too often. It's a product review. One of my viewers is a small 3D printing operation way out in Prairie View, Vault, Washington. And he uh, asked me if it'd be cool if to send these uh, speed loaders he's built for the modern, current production Daisy Red Rider and Buck Series rifles. I said, sure, I love tech, send it on. Well, let's take a look. Here we have the Honorous Loading Gate, the thing that gives people problems because it's designed to lose BBs. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Now, with the aid of modern technology, you just snap this little puppy on, open the gate, open the gate, the gate will not open, open the gate, snap this little guy on in the right position, sooner or later I'll get there. Well, maybe I gotta be smarter than the gate. That's All right, let's try it the other side. Oh man, now I'm confused. You just had it on there, not even a second ago. Well, that's oh, got geez. the gate closed. Okay, well, try it this, from this the other be end. Do we need to redo this, Dad? I don't know. We can continue to fumble. Maybe people will like it from a comedy point of view. I don't know, man. This is, you just well, had got, it it's on, got dude. You just had this on here. Oh my God. All right, I think you got it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jeez, right. I was listening. Oh, and look, I should have looked at the piece first. It's got a little slot to fit the top of the loading gate. Ugly so that was one. operator headspace and timing, not design fault. Nice tight fit. Available in two colors, evidently. Um, blaze orange, which I kind of like because it's hard to lose, and of course, tactical black. In case you need to be tactical. Well, let's see how she works. Normally, when people load these guns, they end up dumping BBs all over Helen Gun. It's understandable. They're BBs. You know, they are genetically programmed to seek the ground and not the barrel. So, here we are. We have the basic BB dispensing tool, the Daisy Cam, with the basic BB dispensing spout, which is a big hole. And we just stick it up here, and we just rattle trap those puppies in there. Look at them go! Oh man, it's like Marble Raceway! Oh. Why am I hearing BBs falling out? Because they're falling out of the bottom because this is not a complete gun, Dad. No! <laughs> well, you're, you're technically up on your stuff. Oh, there. you're a mess tonight, man. All right, well, we've proved. <laughs> it works. It works. But wait. There's more. There's more. Oh, God, you did drop a lot of BBs. I did. I was astounded oh. to hear them hitting the ground. Well, you know, I got so many things going on, I can't keep track. Anyway, so this will work with the uh, Red Rider, the Model 1999, or the Daisy Buck. And for future reference, keep in mind, there is a slot that's actually put into the device to get it over this piece. So you open it up, snap it on, you know, until you get it locked in place, and then dump away. And as you saw, BBs will literally pour out of your gun. Well, they won't pour out of your gun. Pour out have, of Income Liga. You'll, you'll have some shot tubes and stuff in the way. Now, it wasn't designed to work on these guys, but these are the original. This is a Daisy Model uh, 80 long rifle. Uh, gun from the 60s, 50s and 60s. And if you'll notice, it is also a uh, side feed, not a, not a lightning loader. And these guys are even worse to load than the current production gun. Now, this piece was not designed specifically for this gun, but with a cautious mod, I believe you take a little, uh, take a little bitty, uh, you know, exacto blade or a small pen knife, and cut yourself a slot in that rascal. It ain't got to be deep because it's almost big enough now for BBs to get in that hole. Just where the front sight blade intersects the center of it, I take it down maybe a quarter of an inch. Well, let's see if it loads just like it is. Probably not. No, not quite enough. Not quite enough gap. But that would be a mod you could do if you have an older gun that you would like to use this load device with. Uh, possibly uh, the guys out in Prairie. Uh, Prairie what? <laughs> Bush Prairie, Washington. You might want to take a peek at that. And this would open up the uh, number of guns that Daisy makes that this top loading device would work with. I know if I took a uh, just a box cutter and put a little notch in there, that would actually work well. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll pause the video where you do that. Why? 
All right, right, back to our modded. I uh, probably should have done this to the orange one because it'd be a lot easier to see the notch. Oh, bump it. Where am I looking? Oh, other one right there. Yeah. That notch. Mm -hmm. Now, it can go a little bit deeper, uh, but in its current configuration, current depth, uh, it will feed BBs. It won't feed them as slick as it does into the large port gun, but we're talking about a lot smaller hole here. So, once again, earlier vintage top load daisy, real pain in the butt to feed. I don't know how many BBs I've lost with these guns. Just pop it on just like you did the Red Rider, but instead of looking for the ramp where the, uh, at the base of the gun, just line up the notch you cut there. Take your vat o BBs, pour them in, and with that a little bit deeper cut, you may have to shake it a tad, but as you can see, whoops, it pops right in. Huzzah! Huzzah. Oh, all right, all right. Point made. <coughs> so, neat product. I'll put a link into uh, the description of this video, and you guys can get in contact with the guys and gals out there. And oh, God, I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing this camera now. Brush Prairie, Washington, if you'd like to get one of these speed loaders for your daisy. Easy to work with the Bucks, the 1999s, and the uh, Model 1938 current production Red Rider, adaptable for use with earlier daisies, which is really kind of neat. All right, kids, that's all we've got for you today. This is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.